Yo, what is going on everybody? Executives here and I'm coming at you with my very first moto vlog video. Now uh, I decided to come out with some new IRL videos. Uh, you know I really like riding my motorcycle and I figured I'd show you guys uh, some stuff and uh, maybe talk about Wild Classic in the meantime. Um, so yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think. I'm gonna probably be coming out with these uh, maybe once or twice a week. Uh, try and get as much footage as I can. Show some cool scenery here. Um, yeah, so the first topic I'll start off with is uh, this Wild Classic demo. Uh, it's super cool that uh, Blizzard announced that they're gonna be releasing a Wild Classic demo. This is gonna be awesome because it allows us to test a lot of the questions that we have about Vanilla WoW right now, which is uh, you know, what kind of scripting are they going to be using? How are the servers going to be holding? Uh, will they have updated uh, skins or updated models? Or what's some of the interface UI that we can see? And um, yeah, it's going to be super interesting to test it out. Uh, in fact, I got invited to BlizzCon. Um, if you guys don't know that, I will be starting to commentate uh, Resurgence eSport tournaments. So there is a, a Blizzard World of Warcraft tournament hosted by Resurgent uh, and they're coming out with this new 6v6 RBG game mode uh, and I applied to become a commentator and I got accepted so I'm going to be uh, start commentating some Blizzard tournaments and uh, dang I wanted to make that light but I'm going to start commentating some Blizzard tournaments and yeah it's going to be awesome um, I'm super excited to finally announce that uh, I've been holding on to this information for a while wasn't quite sure if I could talk about it but uh but yeah, I'm going to start commentating uh, some tournaments, some 3v3, and I'm pretty sure some 6v6 tournaments um, for World of Warcraft uh, Arena and our rated battlegrounds. Um, and then this allows me to uh, go to BlizzCon, which I might do. I'm going to try and fight my friend Shove It, if you guys remember him, the uh, Paladin Cortez uh, on Light's Hope. He's now my IRL buddy, so I'm going to be trying to get him and myself to go to... Uh, uh, to go to BlizzCon this year and uh, yeah it's gonna be great I'm super excited I can't wait to play the wild demo Some other good news is that I've been playing uh, a little bit of 3v3 arena lately on retail. I've had my warrior leveled up to 120. And uh, it's super awesome playing warrior at 120. They just do insane amount of damage. Um, a lot of people don't really like uh, BFA. So I need to be in this other lane. Um, a, lot of really, a lot of people don't really like BFA. And uh, it's definitely understandable, you know. There's a lot of shared content between Legion and BFA that I really just don't like. You know, I tried to make a point of this on my stream about why BFA is not going in the right path of what I think a WoW expansion could should go to. And that's because, you know, if you guys remember from Cat at a Mop, uh, you know, there's this always with these new expansions, there's these great, there's these game breaking, uh, like mechanics or just it just feels like a whole new expansion you know when you why is this guy tailgating um you know when you play bfa you just feel like you're playing like legion 1.5 and it kind of sucks because uh you know i remember from mop to wad there was a uh, from mop to wad you know you lost a lot of spells that was uh, it felt like a completely different game for the better or for the worse it still felt like a different game um, from Cat to Mop, it was a different game, uh, and from Mop and from Wad to Legion, it was a very different game. You had the artifact power, and or you had the artifact weapons in Legion, which was its own unique mechanic. You had the legendary ring in Wad. You had the legendary cloak in Mop, um, and you also had uh, a bunch of other stuff that made just the game very different from all the expansions. 
from Legion to BFA, uh, I don't feel like there's much change at all. It feels like the same, you know, grindy kind of nonsense that we did in Legion where you have to grind the world quests, then the mythic dungeons, and then if you have enough gear, you can start going into PvP. Uh, and then from there, once you get some PvP gear or some good mythic gear from dungeons, then you start raiding kind of thing. And it just feels like the exact same game uh, because you have all of these, uh, you've lost all of your artifact abilities, but yet they became talents. And now instead of relying on pumping AP into um, pumping artifact power into your weapon, you're now pumping it into your neck and you're exchanging abilities that you got from your artifact weapon into passives now for your neck. And it's like, you know, I don't need more passives. I don't want a random shield that absorbs 5k like every 30 seconds. I'd rather just have uh, a new ability like bring back banners for uh, warriors. And I'm not talking about war banner. I'm talking about the real OG mop banners um, where you can intervene and stuff like that. So I want, I want old spells back that they had in mop. old spells back like they had in MOP. You know, each class had so many abilities, and I think that a lot of the player base, including myself, can agree that the game was just a little bit better with the more abilities you had. Vanilla had lots of abilities every expansion after then, but then once we hit WAD, you know, all the abilities got pruned, and it just kind of sucks because I wish that we had those old abilities that we used to have. Last thing I wanted to talk about is I hit 5,000 subscribers. Now, I can't believe that I hit 5k subs. I just want to say thank you guys so very much. It's been a very long journey. If you, I don't know how long you guys have been viewing me for, but way back when I made uh, WAD Warlock guides on how to, on Chaos Bolt guides, on Affliction glides, on uh, Boomkin guides, I made a bunch of guides back in WAD and and back then I only had I think like 50 subs after I made one of my Chaos Bolt montage videos and uh, look at that view and uh, yeah it's a pretty insane I've come so far I just want to say thank you guys so much thank you for watching my streams thank you for liking my videos uh, and thank you guys very much for subscribing it really means a lot to me uh, you know if it comes down to me doing YouTube full time in the future I, I very well might um, but right now, I've definitely seen a huge growth. I've seen a, uh, a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, I just, I can't be more thankful. You guys are awesome. Um, and yeah, that's why I'm coming out with new content. I've been trying to come out with different classes on the channel. I've been trying to come out with different content. I've got the IRL content. Uh, I've got, um, I've got the Druid. I've got the Shaman. I've got the Rogue. I've got all these different classes because I really want to try and diversify my YouTube channel um, so that if you guys like a specific class or race or something that you want me to see, you know, you can let me know or, uh, you know, I have that video already available. So that's why I really like Retro Wow so much is that it allows me to play all these classes and uh, yeah, it's super fun. But yeah, I just want to say thank you guys very much for 5k subs. Let me know what you think of these Motovog videos. Um, and yeah, I, I just sound off in the comments. Tell me what improvements I should do. Tell me should I should add any music. Uh, give me suggestions to talk about questions to ask. Uh, like what's the best two-hander for Shaman. Or I don't know, something along those lines. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.